What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Brown Gen. In this video, we're going to talk all about security, and I'm going to introduce you to this cool new tool that I've stumbled upon that's going to really buff up your security. But before we get into that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with a friend. Security matters. And at this point in time, when all of our cryptos are like doing really well, this is when malicious people come back even more into the space. And it's hard enough to make money in crypto. You don't know when you should buy. You don't know when you should sell. I mean, most of us just keep buying. But for the, mo for the majority of people who aren't sure, crypto is already complex enough. Take your average person who you, who you know that maybe doesn't know much about crypto, talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum, what are they going to do? They're going to sign up for a centralized exchange. They don't want to hold on to MetaMask wallets and everything else like that. And even when they do that, they have a risk of losing their funds. So we, and I don't even mean we, but I think every single person needs to exercise very good security hygiene. Now I'm going to make another video talking about how you can do all of that in this video. I'm just going to talk to you about the importance. So why is it important? Well, imagine you have like one or two Ethereum on your account. Maybe you have 0.1 Ethereum, right? You don't want to lose those. You don't want to lose those dollars, right? If someone gets a hold of your seed phrase, there go your dollars. If you accidentally go to the wrong website because somebody sends you a link, hey, they're giving you a free NFT, you go to claim it, all of a sudden you lose your NFTs that you have right now, your tokens, what are you going to do? And sometimes you're really tired, you do things really fast, and people make mistakes. I can't tell you the number of times I have put in the wrong card information just because I was rushing. And yes, 99.9% .9 of the time, we'll put in the right information. But you really don't want to get penalized the one time you aren't on top of your game. That all being said, you should do as much as possible when you're dealing with your cryptocurrencies to be really paying attention because there are no redos. But let's say you screw up. Well, there's a cool new tool that can really bail you out. And this tool is called Wallet Guard. And what Wallet Guard does is it's really focused on protecting people in Web3. It's open source, and I know a lot of you really think that's important. I know this has come up around some of the other wallets like MetaMask not being open source, and we also know what happened with them. On top of that, they just give you peace of mind and they have a security dashboard. So for those of you who haven't heard of WalletGuard, it's a browser extension, and you can find this on the, you know, I found this on the Chrome Web Store. My recommendation is that you go through always the official links. So at wallet guard or at wallet underscore guard on Twitter, they have the gold verification stamp on Twitter, follow their apps and you'll be able to download this extension. Once you download the extension, it'll make you, let me just go back here. I'm showing you guys the wrong things. Awkward. So what happens is basically when you first load it, it will say the first thing we're going to do is do a scan. So I've already done this scan. I'm at 92%. Let me just zoom in again and let's hit scan. Now you can see here it scans for high risk approvals, transaction history, hacks and exploits, wallet version checker and honeypot checker. It will make sure that it looks for every potential leak that I'm dealing with and give me a sort of recommendation plan as to how to fix it. So right now, as you can see here, my current scan tells me my open approvals give me a medium risk. Now, there's a 100 Stargate finance token worth $52 um, that I've approved um, for, for it to be traded. Honestly, it's only $52, so I'm not going to pay the $5 in gas because if you are to revoke the approval right here, which is, you know, very simple, it'll cost you some gas. Nakamigos, I own zero right now. 
no point revoking. I own zero Spellborn Apartments, no point revoking. And I own zero DeFi Mons Monsters, no point revoking. But as you can see here, if I wanted to remove all these, I would be at 100%. I go to Transaction History Analysis. I have no risky transactions. It already sort of checked that. Accent Exploits. There are no risky contract interactions. There's no risk to wallet tracking. Honestly, though, this was different a few days ago when I first got Wallet Guard. Uh, my MetaMask was out of date as well as another one of the wallets. So it really reminded me, just click on a button, update the wallets. And the reason you do this is sometimes when your wallet is out of date, there might be an exploit. So you want to constantly make sure you're updating the wallet so it is uh, giving you the best security possible. And then honeypot check. So we scanned your wallet for potential honeypot assets. A honeypot is where you can buy something, but you can't sell it. So I have none of those. Now, what's really cool is, so I do the overview and I sort of see here, my wallet is protected, at least the one I've scanned. I can scan a bunch of others if I want to, which is really cool. Um, you see the approvals here where I can revoke. The security scan we went over the DAP store. So one of the things I will talk about in a future video that I will remind you again is it's always good practice to bookmark the official sites that you visit. Keep that available so you're not typing in or Googling stuff on what really sucks right now about Google is because cryptos weren't so much and there are very few consequences for stealing crypto from others. And there's really no way to, or very hard ways to track it. And you've got to really be a Zach XBT sort of expert to do all of that. Well, if you type in like Uniswap and you click on the first link, there's potential that someone paid Google to make their fake website show up higher than the official Uniswap. So what you can do here instead is you can click on search dApps and type in Uniswap and it will literally pop up right here. And you can click this and it will take you to the official site. So you don't need to sit there and wonder. You can just literally find them here. Or if you don't, you can click on like a different sort of bucket. Like let's say I click bridge. You can see bridge right here. It'll open up the bridges that are available. So there's Orbiter, Stargate, and MM Portfolio. That being said, it's not always that accurate. For example, if I want Sushi Swap, I can find that here. And as you know, that's my favorite sort of bridge and swap at the same time. But I think it's a really cool thing. Um, they have a mint NFT uh, that you can actually grab off Interact, and they have a chat web three. So this is one part of Wallet Guard. The second part and the thing I showed earlier is really the security it gives you while you're interacting on the web. So it is sort of react or sorry, proactively doing the scan. But now let's say you're browsing the internet and you go to a malicious website. It will tell you, it will warn you that this is a potential malicious website. This is potentially a wallet trainer website. So if you're looking to farm airdrops, there are tons of fake airdrop websites. When you go to those fake websites, it will also warn you. And if it doesn't, they also have pop-ups that come up. So even before your wallet of choice, let's say you sort of click in and like you're uh, transacting on this website, freeboardape.com. What'll happen is it opens this up before your MetaMask or your Rabi wallet. It will say, dangerous, we suspect that this website is a wallet drainer. And it's telling you straight up, that wallet is, that transaction is asking to give up your NFTs. Or in some cases, it'll say, give up all tokens and all NFTs. You can reject or proceed anyway. So it really gives you some insight. And it's a, sort of a stepping stone before the transaction opens on your main wallet. So I think this is a really good tool. I think you'd be amiss if you don't have it. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. This is a completely free to use tool, at least for now. Um, incredible service, love that it's open source. I think we need more of this because it's already hard enough 
in the crypto space with everyone sort of all these influencers shilling their bags trying to dump on other people and this is just another step to give you peace of mind now is this the only step definitely not i also recommend that you get a cold storage wallet whether it's um a lattice um uh, what's it called a, a ledger or i just recently got a keystone wallet so there are multiple different uh, multiple different avenues for you to select for or select from for your cold storage but then on top of that also you've got to be smart about it and exercise proper security hygiene i'm gonna make another video covering that because i don't want to get this too long but I hope you really check it out. I'll leave the links in the description. Comment below. You probably have, some of you have probably already heard about that. If so, let me know what you think. Or if you're Eric or some other people that I know who could really benefit from some extra security, let me know what you think of it once you get the tool. Love to hear from you guys. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I want to get us to 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I really appreciate the support and let's get moving. Remember, this is a bull market that is coming up. I'm excited to see what happens to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the altcoins. Really don't want to worry about security as much and this will really help with peace of mind. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.